Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to do Take It Further Part B, and this is going to be the last part of page 2. So Part B says, find a way to vary the language a bit so that the program does not always repeat exactly the same words in the same situation. For example, if the player guesses too high twice in a row, the program could say, that's still too big, try another number. Okay, so there's going to be a few ways you can do this. Based on the language or the wording of the take it further, I think they want to they want to make sure that you know or the computer should know if you guessed high too high twice in a row or too low twice in a row. That way you can say that's still too big or try another number. There's that that, that might be one way to do it. I mean that and that would satisfy the I guess the the requirements of, of what it wants. But the way I'm thinking of doing it right now actually doesn't even keep take that into account or keep track of that. I kind of just wanted to say something random from like a list of different things that it could say at any point in time. So instead of always saying your guess was too big, your guess was too big, your guess was too small, right? It'll, it'll choose from a random array of different things that I'll come up with. Okay. So in my head, the perfect block to do this is a list uh, item or a list reporter block. Because I can store all the different types of way to say all the t all the different ways I could say your guess was too big inside of the list, and then what I could ch do is I could have it choose a random item from the list each time it says it. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys aren't very comfortable with lists or really don't have too much experience with lists, but lists allow us they afford us a really good way of storing data. Okay, and if for anyone that uses other programming languages, databases are basically lists. So let's say I want to have, I created too many blocks here. So let's say there's three things I wanted to choose from randomly. So the first one is, your guess was too big. The second one is, your stop guessing, no, let's say your guess is too big or your guess is way too high. Okay? And maybe the last item, the last thing it could say is too high, dude, or too big, dude. All right? So it's going to choose, I wanted to choose one of these three items randomly every single time that it's going to say your guess was too big. So instead of saying your guess is too big, it's going to pick one of these three randomly. So using a, a list block, I can kind of store that information in there, and then I could just randomly choose one of these three. So the block I can use for, to do that is, let's see, the item blank of blank. So this is the way that it works. Here's the two input parameters. Um, the first one either chooses the item or chooses the, the first item, the last item, or a random item. And this little input, this parameter right here, um, it takes in a list as an argument. So I think in the, on the AP, they're going to use the word parameter for everything. So just think of list as the parameter that you have to put inside of this item random of list block. Okay, so now instead of saying your guess was too big, I'm going to have it choose a random item from this list and say that for two seconds. So if I keep guessing like way too high, it's going to pick a random item and then say it. Um, I could test this out right now before I uh, move on to the guess was too small. Let's see. So let me uh, let me just I hit apply. I hit apply. I'm gonna play the game now. What should the maximum number be? Let's try ten. Guess my secret number. Let's guess ten. Your guess was too big. Let's try ten again. Your guess was too big. Let's try 10 again. Your guess is way too high. Let's try 10 again. Your guess was too big. Let's try again. Too big, dude. Okay, so it looks like it is working. It is choosing a random item from this list and displaying that for two seconds. And I'm happy with that. I kind of like the way that looks. I think it's I think it's pretty simple. And I'm going to duplicate that for your guess was too small and just modify small your guess is way too low and too low dude. Okay? So basically when my when my user when the when the person playing the game guesses too high or too low 
the computer is randomly going to choose from this list something to say back. And if I want to add more, all I got to do is click on this little black arrow pointing to the right, and I can create a new one. Like, uh, your two, your guesses are too high, or your guess is too high, or is greater than the secret number, or whatever it is. Okay? So that's one way of doing it. And this is the way that I kind of like doing it because... I kind of like introducing randomness and like using a list item. I like using these different blocks to, uh, to accomplish certain tasks. But if I wanted it to be exactly the way that they say in the, in the, in the, in the task, I really got to keep track of how many times I said, or I got to keep track of what the last thing I said was, whether I said it was still too big or sorry, if it was too big or too low, uh, the guess. So I'm going to tell you guys how I would kind of go, how I would try to like attack this. Um, I would probably, I'm not sure if I would actually create a, another script variable and like change it every single time that, uh, like what the last person, what the last guess was, if it was too high or too low. I don't know if I would store that, if I would do it that way, or maybe I would keep track of how many guesses. And if the number of guesses was let's say greater than two or greater than three or greater than four in the if block, maybe then I would say, um, you, you keep guessing too high or like, you know, you're still too high dude. Um, or your guess is still too low, something like that. So there's a couple of ways that I would tr kind of go about attacking this. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to come up with your own solutions. I just wanted to show you one possible solution. And keep in mind, this isn't the only way to do this. You don't have to use list blocks. You don't have to use the item random of, because that, that actually probably isn't what the, um, what the BJC authors intended. But it is possible to use this. Uh, I know one of my students on Friday, he used a bunch of if blocks, and he checked to see how many, how many guesses the person was on. And if it was the first guess, if like the number of guesses equaled one, then he always said your guess was too big. And if it was more than one, then it always said you're, you're, you know, you're still too high or you're still too big, guessing too big. Okay. So, uh, I hope that was helpful in explaining how you can like kind of go about, um, attacking this problem or, um, giving you guys an idea of how to use the list block and the item random of block. Okay, just to recap that very quickly, the list can store a whole bunch of items. And this item random of, these little, this little icon over here, this parameter with the two little, like, it looks almost like a hamburger bun. Okay, that means that it's expecting a list in there. Okay, so that, that kind of works perfectly because I can drag, drag that list in there and it could say one of those items randomly. All right, so... Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any issues with this or have any other questions, post it in the comments below and I will help you guys out. Have a good day.